in all capitals the republic of bharat happy and proud that our civilization is marching towards the future boldly he has also said amrit kal in one tweet this is of course himanta biswa sharma he's put this tweet out the assam chief minister uh, presumably a follow up to the controversy we've seen play out right now with the uh, congress spokesperson jairam ramesh pointing out the framing in the official letter now let's go over to uh, manikam tego who remains with us he is remember a lok sabha mp he is a senior congress leader mr tagore i just All right we I'm I'm going to ask Mr Tagore and I'm going to ask Tom Badakan to stay with us Payal Mehta my colleague is with us we'll have to go to her for context first Payal we were able right now when we were speaking to the BJP spokesperson Tom Badakan he he seemed to imply that this change had actually taken place as backlash to the INDIA opposition naming now that we're seeing the Assam chief minister put out this tweet will we possibly see other BJP leaders also double down Well, most certainly you will see this become the order of the day, given the fact that uh, several leaders within the BJP rank, including Prime Minister Narendra Modi, said that India does not stand for the country, but India stands for the for the uh, alliance with the corrupt as well. You've seen Mohan Bhagwat, the RSS chief, also very recently mentioned about this, and Hemant Biswas Sharma, in a two-line, uh, uh, you know, uh, information that he put out on X, has clearly said this: that India, uh, you know, it is a Bharat, uh, it is Bharat that has to be named. it is of course the bharat of Rep uh, the republic of bharat is what we stress upon so as the day progresses you will see more and more of this is happening and like there are numbers put out in a tweet that yes uh, there was a mention of this uh, in the invitation that the rashtrapati has extended for a g20 dinner so it clearly means that there are more and more speculation now now you know during the round that possibly this is the reason that the government has called for a special session of a parliament which is a five day session and they probably want to implement this as well because remember in his tweet uh, the Parliament Affairs Minister did make a reference uh, to Amrit Kaul uh, as well, so it's quite a thing to watch out for. Given the fact that now there will be a political war of words between, of course, the BJP and the opposition over this whole naming and renaming. Okay, Payal, can I just ask you a question? We were speaking earlier to the BJP spokesperson Tom Vadakan, who actually remains with us on the phone, and one of the things that he was pointing out, though he said that he wasn't an astrologer, he made that clear. He said that it is possible that we will see more such changes, and you're also seemingly hinting at that. That's what I really want to get in stone to the degree that you can confirm to our viewers. Will we see more changes like this take place in the next few months when it comes to official documents and official framing? uh most certainly it's likely to take some shape on that manner and if i was able to predict anything like mr vadakan could then you know probably i'd be in a different role altogether but <laughs> it is very very difficult to and this government to predict anything that narendra modi and his government is going to do as well but there are enough indications given the fact that the rashtrapati herself who is the first citizen of the country uh, has in a way implemented that particular change there is a reason why this special session of parliament has been called there are people who are doing the rounds uh, there are people who are, who are telling me that probably they given some bills But you know, if you have analyzed, then you know the bills look pretty impossible to bring in, whether it's the UCC or whether it's the uh, one country, one election. So obviously, there has to be something special for the government to really bring in a five-day session, uh, you know, out of uh, thin air. So obviously, that's something which is really, really mm. being looked forward to. This government is talking, has often spoken about the fact that there is a need to come back to the roots, and that's one of the reasons we've also seen the uh, seen the changes that you've seen in the recent uh, three criminal bills. You know, where of course. Uh, Uh, india has done away with this colonial uh, you know uh, term terminology and has has done with the term with the colonial uh, term school as well so obviously indianization and it is this india era is is constantly being uh, stressed upon uh, by the government but now it has to be called this is the era of bharat Okay, Payal. I do want to ask you one more question here. I just want to remind our audiences that as we go ahead in this conversation, we are obviously just dealing in the hypotheticals. Payal, you pointed to the fact that one nation, one poll, while it is something that is being hotly discussed, is 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 maybe one of the things that the special session will look at. But you also said that this change, this announcement coming in today, this might also be a weather vane of sorts as to what might be discussed in the special session. Payal, could you tell us again to the degree that we can be a little more concrete with our audience? audiences what would a change like this actually look like how would it entail the parliament if it were to uh if there is any change like this which has to be brought in if i'm not mistaken it has to be a change in the constitution as well so obviously the parliament has the power to to amend it as well but as of now there is no clarity like we repeatedly been saying at the risk of uh, taking the risk of you know probably even suggesting that something like this would come up with the government it's a huge risk to take in itself because mm. nobody really knows what this government will really come up with but the indications are very very clear And that's one of the reasons that Rashtrapati's invite says so. 
you have had an assam chief minister bjp leader say so right. i mean storm bada khan himself was hinting at something like this we will have to just wait and watch the agenda should be clear in a couple next couple of days but in my opinion after having covered parliament over the years i do not think that this session has been uh, brought in to just bring in some bills there is more to this because the mention of pranav joshi sweet talking about the fact that let's discuss and debate in amrit kal and amrit kal is the run up to mm. 2047 that the council of ministers spoken about it remains to be seen what can be done and what will be done in these five days okay paya let me ask you one last question here now i'm going to ask you about the opposition now we know that in the last few months they have come together as the i and d i a alliance but if we just take a walk further back in the history lane can you tell us has a controversy at all played out in the past among different political parties i'm not talking about the bjp i'm talking about alliance parties uh, opposition parties when it comes to india as a phrase have we seen it already play out especially among regional parties at all well there are certain people who will probably have that name for example it is the communist party of india or you know it's the indian national congress those names are there but in the prime minister the bjp the, uh, the union home minister jp nadda all of these people have refused to acknowledge the alliance and they say that This is India Alliance. They specifically been saying it's India Alliance. And if you remember the news of Nirmala Sitaraman when she was speaking to Zaka a couple of weeks ago, she also said this, this is nothing but a dot 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 alliance. So obviously there is no acknowledgement coming in as far as that is concerned. The instructions have come in directly from the Prime Minister himself. On multiple meetings during the Parliament session, I told his uh, party colleagues across the NDA that this is an alliance of the corrupt. They do not mean anything for the country. For them, there is only one objective, and that is to benefit their own family. So obviously. Uh, to use the name doesn't mean anything, and that's one of the reasons the prime minister came up with the terminology calling them Gandhi Alliance. Hmm. So there's going to be more war of words in the coming days and weeks as we follow up, as we build up to the big 2024 elections, where of course it's the NDA versus uh, everybody else. It's prime minister Narendra Modi versus everybody else. Uh, but it's going to be quite a task for the opposition party to really come out and uh, tell people who their faces. Who's going to take on Narendra Modi? That's what the BJP is constantly being asked. Okay, Payal, I do want to ask you one more question here. This is something that you were hinting at too. uh bharat as we know that word uh, the opposition is has some regional parties in it have we already seen particularly in the south any pushback at all to the use of the word bharat uh, any who have come out pro india in the past i'm not talking about since the alliance has been formed i'm talking about in the years past well of course they haven't really really objected to it given the fact that we've been using the term india you know our we say prime minister of india but you know will we start saying prime minister of bharat right now that remains to be seen that remains a big focus but in terms of implementing and you know impose imposition of hindi names for example in the recent when the three criminal bills uh, you know were brought in and it was sent to the select committee uh, uh, beg your pardon to the to the home committee there were a lot of opposition mps especially from dmc who objected to the hindi names and they said that basically hindi a uh, sort of imposition is to really stop it remains to be seen how they react to this because so far they have uh, they have to still react to this but yes okay. the fact that the rashtrapati herself has said this that that is going to draw up draw up draw up a slew of responses from her thank you payal for staying with us for